Welcome to Eligo Studio. Uh, Eligo Studio is an Italian creative agency based in Milan, led by architects Alberto Nespoli and Domenico Rocca. Eligo's approach to interior design aims to create contemporary spaces with an Italian couture approach, spanning from residential to hospitality projects. During the latest Salone del Mobile in Milan, they contributed to Campo Base, a shared uh, architectural project with uh, homage to Renzo Mongiardino, an Italian architect who lived uh, in the late 20th century. Alberto and Domenico, welcome to Mid-Century Home Talks. Thank you, Marco. Hi, Marco. Thank you. I would like to start from your latest experience uh, during Salone del Mobile and I would like to ask you about your contribution to Campo Base with a homage to architect Renzo Mongiardino, where that comes from and why you chose uh, him specifically. Actually, we are very passionate about interior and decoration. Uh, so uh, Renzo was one of the best uh, um, character of the early 90s century period. And so actually we wanted to do a tribute to him um, by selecting um, one of his interior projects, which is um, uh, an interior in uh, Palazzo de Scalchi in Rome, made in the late uh, 60s. Um, we loved it uh, because it, 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 it gave it a, a huge twist to this uh, actually palace space, so with this very high ceiling. And uh, he, he, again, he converted it into a curtain um, by making a, a completely new space. Actually, the goal of the Campo Basi was to have uh, uh, an interpretation of uh, uh, some keywords that we decided, because actually we were the client of us, no, these six studios. So we decided to create a, um, a team to have a, a new approach to the Design Week. Now, Design Week, it's a massive event in Milan. And uh, what is missing, what was missing, what is missing is actually a, a more about interior design than the product design function. No? When you start to do our job as interior designer, you collect references during the past years, you know, and uh, one of the references in our mind was always Renzo Mongiardino, because Renzo Mongiardino has some uh, magical touch to create uh, interior spaces with a light architecture. So this idea of light architecture with the curtains, no, is a, is a, is a very um, successful example of how to create an interior space with a light architecture, with a light material that in our case, you can mount it and dismount it really easily. And uh, of course, our DNA, it's about the heritage, Italian uh, craft, uh, and uh, also Italian decoration. So uh, also the goal was to translate uh, the DNA of Renzo Mongiardino with our approach, no? Yeah, and I think you made it quite clear uh, because the, the selection was really nice. Um, I actually uh, have... Uh, kind of follow-up question because you mentioned several times how important interior decoration is and of course you are interior decorators as well but why is this important why uh, designing an interior space it's important for us so for us it's very important to create a let's say an interior design architecture properly to 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 have a connection between the elements of the decoration because otherwise it's a kind of let's say, museum approach or a showcase of elements that are not connected together. And for us, this makes the, the difference and the quality of the, the, the product itself can pop up much better no? and have a dialogue between. That's what is the interior basically. I would like to underline the word dialogue, which is very, very important. You know, interior decoration, interior design, actually, it is a dialogue between elements. But this is it. Um, the way to find out the good, the good mix, the good balance, the good uh, blend of, of elements uh, is the final result. Yeah. I, I just want to say that uh, I noticed that you are in good company because, uh, of course, you were six of you during Campo Base and all of you, I think, did a very good job uh, in doing what you just described when it comes to interior decoration. 
Uh, you specifically have, uh, or you, you mentioned having an Italian interior design couture approach to going back to fashion. What what does exactly mean and how this influences your uh, design uh, process and philosophy? Uh, what is important is for us and, and what is our DNA, you know, is, uh, is about uh, to choose with uh, uh, consciousness elements that are um, reflected the lo local culture, no? and the local uh, um, approach to, to, to the design. What is important for us, it's its project uh, has itself or itself already, a, a, you know, some, some uh, roots, you know, some, the architecture space, uh, it's unique always, no? So we try to develop each project in, with, with a new approach. Well, the approach is always the same. Watching the space, understand what the main elements, the main characteristics, no? And try to use the local material, no? Um, and also try to use the materials that reflect exactly the time of, of, of uh, where the architecture is, uh, is, was done. So the, the couture approach is a way to go deep into the history of the space and try to focus and find, uh, let's say, few elements that are the main characteristic of the space and develop, and starting from that, and develop new contemporary spaces. I can imagine that this can be uh, sometimes a challenge when you come to residential projects, because maybe not all clients might share your view. Of course, if someone chooses you for a residential project, they probably like your approach, but I... I can imagine that you might want to explain also uh, what you want to achieve. So what is actually uh, your approach with clients? What, what is the first question you ask them uh, when it comes to interior design projects? Uh, well, this is a very uh, nice question. I mean, mm, first of all, we, we, we listen to the client, you know, always. So we listen to his budget, we listen to his style, we listen to his... Uh, his um, his wishes no, to the project. And then we try to bring in him and to educate him to what is our vision. No? Sometimes, uh, most of the time, let's say that we, we, we manage to create a very uh, nice project together. No? It's a dialogue. Uh, our, our job is not only about uh, making beautiful things, but it's also about to uh, create a dialogue with clients, even with brands. No, it's the same that we 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 are going to design a showroom for a brand, or we're going to design a scenography for a brand or a house. It's the same. Do you have like some maybe elements? Uh, can be colors, materials, anything that you always try to include in your projects, and and if so, why? Uh, for sure, is the approach to the to the project is always architectural. So basically, we do decoration, but we start from volumes, lighting surfaces. That means that uh, we try to build a little scenography, a small scenography into the res residential project. When, of course, the scale is bigger, like we recently, well, a year ago, we opened a, a locanda, a, let's say, boutique hotel no? in Reggio Emilia. And it's exactly our reflection of the of DNA of the concept. No, so it's a it's a six hundred square meter of space where there's a different suites. And in that case, we 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 exactly express our approach. So architectural first, lighting, then materials must be really related to the local production. Most of the time, we work with artisans. No, so small production. After the, the developing of the of the volume and of the space and the study of the light, we go into the materials and then we go into the lighting and the furniture and the and the props and the styling. So it's always a, a, a an approach of layers, no, starting from the from the main view and going till to the to the small details, the handle, the the even the the the, the, the soap. We design our soaps collection or parfum ambient collection. 
But what draw you to the interior decoration? Interior is, is funny. Interior is beautiful. It 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 gives you a, um, a very strong relation with clients, as Alberto said before. Uh, so uh, actually, you can you know um, deliver a, a, a sort of a uh, from white canvas to a, a complete paint. You know? It's important to mention that we 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 work on a timeless. Uh, approach no so a timeless uh, design what we like no and the mid-century design it's basically uh what uh, is uh, for us is timeless no if you if you see the Le Corbusier projects no they are made uh, in the 20 in the 30 in the 40 no they're still so contemporary in the mid-century you see that uh, the Le Corbusier approach for example was very contemporary in a way to less decoration and more functional no uh, which really like uh, that's also our approach functional but then as a contemporary you know living into the the contemporary time we like really to create also a decoration uh, details no as a, sometimes the details is so important because uh, you can have a very clean surface of a wardrobe or a cabinet or even a kitchen, but then you have the detail, the handle again, or 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 um, very small elements that are decorative. So if you have to pick one project you're working on at the moment that you are particularly proud or excited about, uh, which one that would be? As Alberto mentioned before, we are working in Liguria. We have some few projects there. And uh, we are doing a, a small cabana, as uh, quoting uh, <laughs> Le Corbusier again. But actually, it, it is seriously a, a small, small um, architecture um, on, the, on the shore of uh, Porto Venera. So Another project that we are doing again in Liguria, it's a pavilion. So it, it's, uh, it's, in one word, it's a glass house. No? So mm -hmm. the approach, for example, John Poson or, or Le Corbusier again in Zurich. Uh, um, is, is the same approach and uh, it's also would be very interesting to create a, 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 a model elements you now to develop and to replicate in other parts of of, uh, of seaside or countryside or even in the mountain you know? so it sounds very exciting and I'm very curious to see the results so uh, let's let's stay in touch that's all we have time for today so thank you very much and uh, I will talk to you soon Thank you Marco, thank, thank you, you for Marco. the invitation. Grazie, grazie, ciao ciao.